We've got a game of Dune Imperium starting. Awesome, let's get into it. Okay, I am first pick. All right, let's take a quick look at the Imperium row here. Gene Manipulation, The Voice, Test of Humanity. Three Bene Gesserit cards right off the bat. That's kind of interesting. Um, you know, I haven't played a game of Helena in a while, not a player versus player game. So let me just pick Helena and uh, we'll see how that goes. Part of the reason I'm doing that is because, you know, she can kind of snag some of these cards maybe. It would be kind of fun to try to get a Bene Gesserit strategy going in a player versus player game instead of um, just in a challenge mode, which, you know, can be challenging enough. It's not easy to do in a real game. But um, anyway, we'll see how this goes. Uh, I'm not going to pick Memnon. I'll, I'll leave Memnon to uh, kind of, you know, relax on his vacation, well-earned from his incredible performance in the War Chest Tournament. Um, he deserves a break. He deserves to enjoy his, you know, his riches, his seaside villa, um, you know, all of the amenities and everything. And, you know, he'll come back when he's ready or when I'm in need. It's weird that the chat is here and you can click on it, but you can't actually use it. Okay. Uh, and Zorod is gone. Okay. <laughs> That's really weird. Um, this is the person who made the game and just didn't stick around to play it. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows what goes on on the internet? Um, so we're going to have to wait uh, a minute here for <laughs> Zora to time out. And we'll be playing with an AI player, which is unfortunate. But let's take a look at what's going on. Okay, no signet ring this round. So next round is going to be the signet ring with a few persuasion so should be able to get something interesting can i get something interesting this round um probably i'll be looking to use the seek allies uh, maybe also the diplomacy and then i'll have four persuasion left is you know maybe how it's gonna go we'll see on the other hand I don't know. We'll just have to see what the other players do. I'm the last one to actually go, right? So what I do is going to be dependent on what everybody else does. You know, um, if Still Suits is available when my turn comes around, I'll be tempted to grab it. But if not, then we'll just play it by ear. You know, maybe a wealth. Um, I haven't looked at the conflict too much, but there's obviously spice available. All right, so bot Memnon hits up Carthag, and we'll see. <laughs> he immediately uses the windfall. I mean, sure. I guess why not? I mean, the why not is it's better to hold on to that stuff until you need it, so that people are unsure what you're holding. Okay, so the still suits is gone, which is fine. Paul going in for this. Yeah, I mean, you know, the spice, if somebody can actually grab some of these Bene Gesserit cards, having a bit of spice would be helpful to be able to hit up the selective breeding. Interesting. Memnon goes straight into that. I mean, yeah. All right. I'm probably not going to be participating in this conflict. Let me just grab some wealth right now. And... Maybe even a secure contract up next. If it's there, no, it's not there. Um, I was talking about the War Chess Tournament. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it was an event that happened a few weeks ago. Um, sort of a weekend-long event that I participated in. You can check out the playlist on my YouTube channel where you can see all six games. I won't spoil the results, but I kind of you know, hinted that I did pretty well with Memnon. Um, not just Memnon, but mostly Memnon, which was nice. Uh, Memnon 
was a friend. The Urgic Formula. Hey, how's it going? Uh, the Urgic Formula or Theurgic Formula, I'm not sure. Isn't this game the best? This game is absolutely the best. I love it so much. Um, all right, back to me. I think I'm just going to use Diplomacy to... Secrets. And let's just get an Intrigue card happening right now. Ooh, okay. Pomp, pomp it up. <laughs> Hello, so happy to see you on live. Thanks to you, I finally beat my two sons. So good. <laughs> well, I'm always happy to help parents beat their children. Um, <laughs> all right, well, okay. So a bunch of those Bene Gesserit cards are already gone, uh, which is not too much of a surprise. They were some nice ones. Let's see what Ilbon decides to get. And sadly, I'm not quite able to get the power play, but next turn, maybe I can reserve that with the Signet Ring. So uh, your sons are big Dune Imperium fans and they were beating you consistently. I'd be curious to know what um, what was helpful. You know, what did you learn from my games that helped you beat them? I'd love to know that. Huh, what am I going to take here? Um, there are some really good cards here. The Freeman Camp is probably the best one for four. I mean, Shifting Allegiances is really good. And I'm a fan of space travel as well. And I could get the space travel and the assassination mission which could be interesting. The thing is, I'm not going to have a great way to trash anything real soon. So that may end up kind of being a dead card for me. The Freeman camp also is not going to be doing a ton for now. Hmm. I'm going to try... the space travel, and... Oh, you know what? Maybe I'm gonna switch it over to Sardaukar Inventory. Yeah, I'm gonna call an audible on that. And just kind of... I think that card is interesting. It was actually, I was reading Paul Denon talking about how um, he often found success with that card and a couple people then started trying it out. Um, people were talking about it in the Discord for Direwolf, and uh, I'm curious about it. I've tried it a little bit, and I think it has a lot of potential. You know, one Persuasion and two Swords on Reveal for a one-cost card, that's triple the value of all of the cards in your starting deck, right? Um, so, I don't know. Anyway, we'll see how it goes. Okay, I would like to get that power play but it might be a little tricky to do. Um, I might... I might get a high council seat this turn. It's going to depend. If Zorod AI bot does it, then obviously I won't, but I'm tempted to go... Signet ring to secure contract. Um, dagger to high council. I'm tempted to do that. I mean, secure contract is going to be helpful for me regardless. So let me just do that. We're gonna set this aside and I could also get that by just going to Hall of Oratory. So we'll see how it goes. Um, this also would have been a good conflict to get into, but it's not gonna happen that way. If 
Okay, so the High Council seat is out. All right, so that's fine. Um, but I will go to the Hall of Oratory so I can get this power play. Palm pity up. Sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. Um, <laughs> yeah, the uh, the patterns that I use. Yeah, I mean, I think I have... I've definitely developed some patterns, um, which is good. It's nice to have sort of go-to avenues that work a lot of the time. Um, but I, I do want to explore other ways of playing also um, and kind of branch out a little bit and experiment. And because um, I think there are many ways to play this game, which is why it's so cool. Um, all right, so let me do this. Um, actually, I forgot I could have done that. I, I'm not blocked on the Landsrad spaces. It's been so long since I played Helena. I forgot that that doesn't block me. But you know what? It's just as well. I'd rather get the Swordmaster first. Um, so that's fine. <laughs> and the way I say Freeman and liaison because you're French. Yeah. I wonder how, how do you say Freeman in French? Freeman? I don't know. Um... Yeah, I mean, I get comments about the way I pronounce some of the words, but, you know, it's it's from a book, you know? So that's just what happens. When you have made up words from a book, um, different people are going to pronounce it differently. And my stance is there is no correct way. Even if the author comes out and says, this is how it should be pronounced, sorry, it's a book. Um, unless you, like, put it right in the book <laughs> when you would come across the words, um you know, with a little audio clip where you can hear it, which, you know, or phonetically clarified, then fine. But otherwise, you know, uh, death of the author. Okay, let me reveal, and I will get that power play. Power play. <laughs> Great card. Freeman, Freeman. Uh, but I, I do understand how different pronunciation of words can be irritating. Like, you know, it's like I used to play a lot of magic many years ago and people would pronounce the names of these cards differently and it used to drive me crazy. But, you know, it's just kind of how it is. <laughs> Merci beaucoup. Okay, Guild Bankers. That's a nice card. So I'm hoping that I can get my Swordmaster next round. There's a pretty good chance. Osmosmo says, I borrowed Dune Imperium from the library. Can you do that? Dune Imperium the game or Dune the book? You can borrow board games from your library? That is awesome. Um, played it twice with my friends already, found your videos and realized there is a digital version, so bought it immediately. Hey, that's great. <laughs> Very cool. I'm glad you found the videos. And um, yeah, so I'd love to know your first impressions of the game. How was it trying to learn the game? I think it's a game that is not that complicated to play once you're into it, but I find it's a bit hard to explain at first because there are so many different things that are all connected to each other. So I'd love to hear how your experience was with that. All right, uh, what have I got here? Signet ring, diplomacy, space travel, dune convincing argument. Okay, ooh, look, there's an opulence here. Okay, so I wanna reserve that opulence. Uh, okay. What I want to do is Dune the Desert Planet 
to secure contract. Then I want a signet ring for the sword master, reserve the opulence, and then probably use the diplomacy. Uh, that could be good. In Finland, you can borrow board games from the library. That is awesome. I love that so much. Okay, so, like I said, Dune to secure contract. And that's it. I'm ignoring this conflict again. Have not been involved in any of these early conflicts at all. Have not gotten any spice at all. So this is different from my usual play pattern, right? Usually what I try to do is spice sell melange. Um, it's looking like I might not be doing that this game, which is fine. Okay, so after I get the Sword Master, I'll be down to five. Hmm. It might be a little tricky for me to use all my agents and get the opulence. Three cards in my deck don't have Persuasion on them. That's something that is, I think, quite different between playing the digital game and playing the board game is just how easy it is to look and see what cards you have in your deck um, and make plays based on likelihood of drawing certain cards and that kind of thing. Like, you can do that with the paper game, the physical board game if you can kind of memorize everything in your deck or, you know, write it down or something. Okay. Uh, oh, you blocked. Wait a minute. Arakeen and Swordmaster, were there two of the voices? That is... <laughs> oh, that is really hurtful. That is really hurtful. Okay. So, Helena cannot be blocked by other agents at the lands right but the voice still does it so i guess i just get the high council seat then it's a bit annoying and maybe i don't get a sword master this game that could be a very powerful voice Huh, that hurts. That really hurts. <clears throat> um, yeah, having experience with Dominion uh, definitely helps. It helps a lot to have experience with some kind of deck building game to at least kind of understand how that part works. That's a good base for sure. Um, Arnak, yeah, I've played Arnak. Uh, I don't know, I only played it one time. My impression of it was I was I was kind of disappointed. I was hoping for more, but you know, I, I would have to play it again. Um, but yeah, the analysis paralysis in the first games are are real for sure because you just have no idea what's good to do right you have different options like well what what should i do um that's a real thing absolutely and four hours for a three-player game sounds totally normal to me from my experience the first few games i played i think it took us like five hours um the first one so you know it's picked up since then all right let me reveal well, I'm happy to get this opulence. That is a nice, that is a nice treat for sure. Do I want an Arrakis recruiter? Okay, normally I'm big on Arrakis liaisons, right? Because they help me get spice must flows and that kind of thing. I did already get a high council seat. That would fit in. Um, but I said I was gonna mix things up. So, Let's mix things up. I'm going to get the Arrakis Recruiter just to kind of experiment with it. Um, I don't 
really think it's better than the liaison um, because I know that there are going to be rounds in the future where I'm trying to get a spice must flow and I'm going to be short one persuasion. Um, and I'm going to say, where's my Iraqis liaison? But, um, you know, I, like I said, I want to try out different things. And so I have kind of two slightly more combat focused cards in my deck now with the infantry and the recruiter. We'll just see how it goes. Like, you know, the pressure is off here. This is not a tournament. Um, of course, I'm playing, to, I'm going to try to win, but it's not my only goal. Uh, my goal is also to improve at the game, to try out different strategies and kind of expand my um, horizons a little bit rather than just only doing the same thing all the time um, just because it's worked for me. <laughs> Two Freeman camps sitting here. We've got uh, interesting cards in the row here. Two Freeman camps, which that's a really powerful card. That's like a mini Hayliner right there. Um, shifting allegiances is big. Oh, they all tied for, for first for second. Okay. That's that's pretty funny. Okay, everybody loading up with the intrigue cards. The spice is collecting here. Uh, and I'm the first player, so I would love to get this spice and... Okay, perfect. <clears throat> that's great. I've, I haven't had any spice at all this game. Now... There's no real way for me to get a sword master this turn, is there? No. You know, I could go to... I could power play to wealth to get two. I could go to secure contract, but this I just need to get this spice. That's just too good of a deal here. And I think it's a good time to put in some troops. I have a dagger. I have the infantry. Uh, that would be a nice reward. Honestly, the second place would be good too. I played a game today uh, with some friends here called Nucleum, and it, it's not really my kind of game, I don't think. It's one of those games where there's like a million like this in the last few years, where each player has their own kind of player board with all these little pieces, and you get resources, and you take pieces off your board and put them onto the board, and that upgrades your abilities, and you... It's just like... Anyways, hold on. <laughs> All right, you know what? I'm gonna power play up to wealth. I think given that I have that opulence, um, I think I'm gonna be able to get that alliance. The other consideration is to just do it here and immediately unlock Siege Tabber. Um, but I want the Solari. Do I conspire? You know what? Maybe this is a good time to conspire. That gets me five Solari right now. Let's do it. You know what? Let's do it. Conspire is one of those spaces that I don't use very much. I've used it a little bit recently. Um, and it worked out for me. So again, trying new things. So that seems to fit in pretty well. I'm now at Swordmaster Money. Got some more troops. Got another intrigue card. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. Now. Can I win this? I don't know. Uh, I'm not going to use my reinforcements. We'll just see. 
it's unfortunate that these two get to see my revealed swords before they make any more decisions, but what are you going to do? All right, let's reveal. And five. I'm still tempted by one of these cards because, like I said, that's like a mini Hayliner, and that can be pretty key. It doesn't work great with my persuasion. I could do, you know, an initiate and a liaison. I could do a shifting allegiances and a liaison. I'm going to do that. I haven't, I haven't taken shifting allegiances in a long time. Uh, so <laughs> let's grab it. I don't have any spice, but we'll see. Carry all. Hmm. Right. Well, we're going to Swordmaster next turn. It's uh, certainly a later Swordmaster than I would like. The, I'm not 100% sure that it's... That it's worth getting now, but I have the Solari sitting there. I feel like it probably is still going to pay off. You know, what else am I doing with this Solari at this point? Obviously, the reinforcements... Rally troops, a mentat here or there. You know, I don't know. That's one thing that. That's one thing I'm. I think I'm not going to do this game is is do that experiment. I have done it before. I have won games without Swordmaster, but it's very rare that I try. Um, <clears throat> and I don't think. Yeah. I think I want I want the extra action. Anyway, yeah, so I wasn't a huge fan of uh Nucleum, but the thing is with games like that where they're like really complicated games, like Dune, but even more complex, I would say. Um you know, you spend a lot of time learning the rules, and then your first game is just like a total bust. You know, for me, like, I had fun my first game of Dune, but these other kind of, like, more abstract kind of, like, each person just building their own kind of economy games, um, I don't find them that exciting. And the first game is, like, a total write-off. It's just, like, I don't really know what I'm doing. I don't know what's a good idea. I have no plan. It's just, like, what can I even do on a turn? Let me just do it. Um, <laughs> and what I find happens a lot is... Um, I know people who are kind of like very into playing new games all the time. So they'll bring out some super complex game. We'll spend a lot of time trying to learn it. We play a game, you know, and then we never play it again. Okay. I did win this conflict. So that's good. Um, I think what I want to do, I'm going to trust my opulence to get me this alliance. So I'm not going to take that one. Let me take a Freeman point. And I think I'll take this Bene Gesserit point as well. Huge load of spice sitting here. Nobody is on two water at the moment, so I expect somebody to try to get it. Okay, luckily I am not blocked at Swordmaster, so um, I can get it even though AI Memnon just got, just went there. So my plan for the round, let's see, it's going to be Dagger to Swordmaster, and then I'm going to want to use this Recruiter, because that's why he's here. And I'm going to want to use the Diplomacy somewhere. Diplomacy probably to still suits if I can. And I guess that's higher priority because the recruiter can go wherever uh, as long as he's... Yeah, he, he can't be blocked because I'm Helena. I can't be blocked at cities or Landsrad board spaces. Eyes everywhere. What just happened? Discard a card, test of humanity. Um... Oh, okay, double click works. I didn't know that. That was an accidental double click, but dagger is what I wanted to discard, so that's fine. Good to know. Yeah. 
<laughs> okay. That's a nice play, right? Get the water. And at the same time, reserve that for yourself. Okay, so that's going to be... Uh, was that six spice sitting there already? So eight spice up there for Paul. Uh, he's going to be ready to hit up a hayliner when the time comes. I have to keep in mind that I picked up the shifting allegiances. So I do want to get spice when I can, but it's not going to be this round. Um... We'll see if I can get in on this conflict. I mean, I, I guess I'm probably going to using this recruiter. Okay, Ilbon also has a shifting allegiance. Is that something to keep in mind? Grabs the Freeman Alliance. Okay. All right. Well, let me get that Swordmaster. Let's just get it out of the way before somebody voice blocks it again on me. Why is there a clock ticking? Okay, we're good. All right, Still Suits is taken, unfortunately. That's where I wanted to go with this diplomacy. Um, hmm. Really nice play there from VGKFan18. Where do I want this diplomacy to go? Do I get another secrets? Do I get a fold space maybe? Maybe a fold space wouldn't hurt. Uh, I don't have a ton of faction access here. I've got one emperor, one guild, and the diplomacy itself, and that's it. That wouldn't hurt. Let me just do it. Okay. Dispatch an envoy. Okay, where's Paul going here? Hayliner right now, eh? I mean... I guess you might as well at this point because he, he gets some water, right? So it sets him up to hit up the Great Flat again and he'll be right back up to Hayliner <laughs> Spice. So I don't know about throwing in that many. I'm not so sure about that, but... I'm also not too sure what I want to do with this recruiter. Well, Karthak has been blocked. I think that's what I wanted. Uh, and I can't go here yet. Things are not... I mean, I guess I just send them to Arakeen. The issue is just... There's a bunch of cards here I really don't want to draw. But I don't really have another option so let's do it what do we got okay i don't mind drawing that one do i deploy any troops 
throwing three troops for what? A water and a spice? Maybe? I don't think so. I think I'm sitting this one out. Feels a little strange, but I think that's I think that's what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. Oh, is Memnon gonna steal this from Paul? Oh my god. That's really funny. Well, I'm quite glad I didn't throw in troops now. After all that hard work. Well. Hmm. All right, so from my reveal, we'll see what's left after Ilvon picks stuff up here. We'll just have to see what it is. Gunthopter, maybe, if it's there. I think I might prefer it over the Freeman camp at this point only because, like, I have no resources whatsoever. I'm going to want to be able to feed Spice into the Shifting Allegiances. Okay, well. Well, then it's going to be the Freeman camp. I mean, it's a great, not great, but it's a decent reveal card, even if I can't use it. And, you know, in a pinch, that, um, that agent ability, you know, might be great. So, it's a reveal, and it's a camp. There's Liet Kynes. Liet Kynes, I'm not... How many Freeman cards do I have? One. Two. <clears throat> it's not a great card for me, so I'm not really stoked to see it there because it might help somebody annoy me when it comes to this alliance. Okay, this is a... I find myself in a different position than I typically want to be here. You know, round six is usually when I'm trying to get myself up to six spice so that I can hit up the Hayliner in round seven. Um, that's not going to be super likely this time. Hmm... Maybe I get the Liet Kynes. To make sure I get that alliance. I'm not going to be able to shift any allegiances around. There's no way for me to get spice for it. So, I don't know. I don't know about this game. Do I try to get a Spice Must Flow this round? I really don't know what I should be doing. Maybe it's a Space Travel and try to draw something good here. I might want to get myself some Solari so that I can use a Reinforcements potentially next round. Oof. It's a tricky one. It's a tricky one. Well, I'm going to do this. I'm going to travel over here. We'll get myself um, another one of those. We'll get myself a point. We'll draw a card and see what we get at Infantry. Okay, well... It encourages me to get involved in this conflict. Hayliner <laughs> again. How many rounds in a row is Paul going to hit Hayliner here? It's pretty wild. Pretty wild.
I mean, second place would be okay. I was, I did have a little glimmer of a dream that maybe I would get first here. I mean, I could, I could potentially really fight for it, um, but I don't think I want to blow everything just for this. I think I want to try to have an ability to fight back or win a round seven. Because you know what? I don't know. I don't know about this Hayliner this round. I don't know. Maybe he just knows that he won't have a chance next turn anyway, so he might as well do it. That's quite possible. Um, but it's looking like I may be able to actually win a level seven conflict. I've got a loaded garrison. Everyone else is depleted. Uh, but I don't have good ways to get into the conflict. So I think I want to draw cards this round to try to change up my hand. Because these three, I don't want all those three to be like <laughs> clocking up my hand next game. Or next round. Oh, is he going to hit up the Liet Kynes right now? Yeah, okay. Well, at least he's not going to be hassling me for that alliance right now. But it puts me in a bit of a weird spot for what am I going to grab with my signet ring? Is it a Gunthopter? Is it a Worm Riders? I mean, playing it for Spice could end up being useful for me. All right, well, let me use the Signet Ring here to Arakeen. I want to see what I get. Convincing argument. Okay, maybe I maybe I do end up with a Spice Must Flow. Uh, deploy troops. If I put in one troop, it might be worth one Spice. Do I want one troop for one Spice? Two troops might be worth a spice and an intrigue, but it might not also. I'm going to put in one. All right. And we'll set aside this Warm Riders just because I don't think I'm even going to get it. But we'll take it off, <laughs> Peter. I'm throwing in this one troop. Oh no, what just happened? How did that just happen? Firm. How did he get two there? Did I miss something? Firm grip to wealth, that's worth one. Bribery. Okay, there was a bribery intrigue. This needs to be made clearer. It's very hard to see what the heck is going on there. Okay, well, that's a big disappointment. I was really counting on that. Maybe my shifting allegiances can make that happen for me at some point, but it's not going to be right now. If I want a spice must flow, uh, all I can really do is send a liaison to Hall of Oratory, which I think is what I'm going to have to do. Um, or shifting allegiances, whatever. I mean, or I could just pass, but there's not much point in doing that. So we'll do this. And yeah, it's going to be a spice must flow when that time comes. And... Yeah, I want a spice. I think one troop for one spice right now is okay for me. I've got a big garrison already. And, you know, things like Water of Life, that one spice might come in handy. Maybe in a future turn, I need it just for the shifting allegiances. I do have a Freeman camp, I think, right? So that one spice might end up being important. We'll see. Uh, this game is feeling... It's feeling weird. It's a very close game, though. Six, five, four, four. I'm 
the AI currently in the lead. All right, well, I mean, yeah, it, I think I just got to get the spice must flow here. Get a point while I can. And that's the turn. All right, Ilbon looking to pick up a spice must flow also, I think. Yep. I have um, a large deck, that's what they tell me. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Pass here. Okay. One second here. Okay, this looks interesting. So, um, I am happy that I went to Arakeen last round to draw a card, because this hand is looking a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Um, nobody in a position to... Well, if Paul hits up the Great Flat, he will be in a position to hit Hayliner again. So, that could be a big problem. <laughs> Might be doing record numbers of Hayliners this game. Uh if you don't like my pronunci pronunciation of Hayliner, I apologize, but, you know, it's just how it is. All right. Well, I'm going to want to do the Opulence. I think. The thing is, though... I want to be getting as many troops in as I can. Okay, so here's where this spice might come in handy. I could potentially send a signet ring to Imperial Base and get one. Then later, use the shifting allegiances and grab that alliance back. That's a potential move I have. Where is that going to go, though? I guess maybe secure contract to open up a reinforcements. I don't know. This is interesting. I think I'm going to try that move. And I'm going to risk... I'm going to risk not landing that opulence. Put in two. We'll reserve the Peter DeVries. And we'll see how this goes. So, unfortunately, yeah, I don't have great ways to actually deploy... <laughs> troops right now. I mean, I guess diplomacy to still suits could be a way also. So I, I do have options. Oh no, this is not what I wanted to see. Test of humanity. I think I have to discard the convincing argument, which is not what I really want to do. Uh, or lose a deployed troop. I don't want to do that. All right, convincing argument has to go. It may turn out that, you know, the opulence doesn't work, but I have to keep it for now and keep my options open there. So, 
Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I don't like that at all. I hope somebody can use a voice and block him, but he used a voice and blocked a research station. Okay, well, that that tells me he's planning to, to go to research station because, well, I guess Memnon has the water, but it, oh, that secure contract is really what I wanted to do. Oh, no. I might have to use Cell Melange. No, I can't. Ugh. Okay, the clock is ticking, but that's not accurate. The shifting allegiances, I guess, might have to go up, like, here somewhere. Um... Yeah, that's bugged. I think I'm going to use this opulence. Get some Solari. It opens up a reinforcements if I need it. Um, it sets me up for a potential future turn. Like, I want to get a point out of that thing at some point, but... You know, it may not... We may not get there. It may not, you know, get through these rounds probably not at this point okay he goes to research station and although i was sort of encouraged by that the problem is he probably has drawn a card that's going to get him to hayliner so that makes things pretty awkward for me Do I still have a shot, though? Let's say I skip the Shifting Allegiance's move. Let's say I use Diplomacy to go to Steel Suits if it's available. Throw in two troops there. Four. He's going to add in five. So he'll have seven. If I throw in that, it'll be eight. But I don't have any support for those things at all, which is really troubling maybe the water of life could actually get me some swords in a weird way i think i have to do this and just try i have to try it's the only way i can throw in troops right now so i'm gonna do it and it may not work out but i'm gonna try Okay, I do have the Water of Life available now. <laughs> um, it's not really a great time to use it. The reason would be like, maybe I draw a couple of swords. You know, I don't even have any great sword cards. Okay, he did get the Hayliner access, so. Ooh. Oh, wait, we're going to be at 7-7. Seven, seven. I miscalculated something there. <laughs> this is a problem. I can't believe how many Hayliners has, have been taken by this guy. Quite impressive. Is there any way that this gets me Spice Must Flow? Three cards, even if it's two, four, six, that would do it. Pretty unlikely, but there's a chance. Or do I cut my losses and use this for next round? Because I might just blow everything and not even, not even do it here.
He's got five cards in hand. Easily could have some swords. Has an entry card. I don't think it's worth blowing this and probably still failing. So, cut my losses. Grab Peter DeVries. You know, and and stop there. Um, I don't, I don't love it because that's two points to eight. Um, probably can get a spice must flow to nine. Doesn't have a real easy other point on the board at least. I don't know. That's one of those plays where it's a little bit tricky. Jasper. Uh, yeah, that's a good point too. I could have, yeah, I could have sent the shifting allegiances to the Imperial Basin. Then I would have had enough spice to activate it. Taking the alliance. Uh, the troops, though. Yeah, I could have then thrown those troops in. That's true. Yeah, that would have been a good one. Did not think of that. That could, yeah, I mean, that could easily have made the difference here. If I could have had two more troops in, um, then reinforcements. Yeah, yeah. Jasper, where were you? <laughs> where were you? <laughs> Turn one. All right. Well, uh, that's okay. That's something to keep in mind for future, future games. Anyway... A private army? Oh, come on, Memnon. Is the AI going to win this? Wait a minute. He doesn't have enough to even... Memnon. I mean, I guess it... It gets him an intrigue card? That seems pretty bad. <laughs> AI Memnon. Okay. The good news is I'm getting some spice. I'm getting some spice. We've got another two point conflict. I still have a stacked garrison. I do have ways to hit Hayliner myself this round, but I think it means I have to fold space to like one of these places uh, because that's the only spice I can get. <laughs> this is a pretty weird hand. It's a pretty weird hand, and there's like two voices bouncing around in this game, which have really thrown thrown me for a loop a couple of times. All right. I think this is what I have to do. Although that using that water blocks my water of life, which could be important. Mm. But I'm still going to do it. I might regret that already. Um, Water of Life. Well, none of these cards are all that, all that crazy. Okay, so it's gonna be hard for me to get that alliance. It's possible still potentially in the future if I get my shifting allegiances again, maybe, but probably not. Paul hitting up the research station. So very likely to get at least one spice must flow this turn to go to nine. Does he have another easy point? Luckily, no. Um, I think I have to just do it now before somebody voices me. And the card honestly won't hurt. Okay. Now, normally I just throw everything in here, but 
I think in I'm not gonna win this round, so I need to be competitive for the next combat as well, I think. Maybe I do something like this, and I have the reinforcements as backup in case something weird happens. What happens if somebody hits up Hardy Warriors? Am I screwed? I'm going to go one more. Um, I do have quite a lot of backup here. So it's possible that was an overcommitment, but you know, I don't want to get too cute either. This is a tricky, <laughs> this is a tricky balance. Maybe I could have held back because I do have an Arrakis recruiter I can play as my last agent. On the other hand, is there any reason to Water of Life now? I don't think there is. I don't think there is. Can I get a Spice Must Flow? Two, four, six, maybe. Maybe I can. Hmm. Or I hold that back for next round. <sighs> Tricky decisions to be made here. I'm going to do it. Let's see what we get. Okay, it puts me to Spice Must Flow money. Ooh, there's a risk of going to Arakeen. 50-50 chance of blowing it and not getting a Spice Must Flow. So we're just going to reveal... and do it. Now, there's an argument to be made that I would have been better off at least sending a dagger to the Hall of Oratory to get a troop and not revealing what I'm up to so early that it lets people know the target exactly that they need to hit, but it's a pretty hard target, high target. Um, so probably I should have I should have used a dagger to Hall of Oratory. Um, but whatever. Chrome shares? Oh no. Okay, so it's game over. Because I'm pretty sure there's going to be a spice must flow in there. All right, well. We'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, Jasper's suggestion there of how I could have used that shifting allegiances differently um, could have easily been the difference in this game. Yeah, that's it, okay. I also didn't really see 
what would have happened if I tied Paul up in that last round? <laughs> um, I don't remember if he had any swords or whatever, or if we would have, you know, if I could have blocked him from getting those points, even if I didn't get them myself. I don't know, but it doesn't matter now. End game. Okay, wait a minute. I mean, Paul does have a nine spice for a tiebreaker. Wow. <laughs> that was the spiciest game I may have ever seen in terms of just the crazy amount of spice. Osmoso, good effort either way. Yeah, thanks. I mean, I tried. Um, definitely made a couple mistakes. And like I said, it was very much like an experimental game for me. And um, I'm not exactly sure what I learned from it yet. I'm going to have to process it. But I think Paul hit the Hayliner like at least four times in that game, which I'm... I'm sure I've never seen somebody do it <laughs> that much and still had nine spice at the end. That was really crazy. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that game. It was kind of a crazy one. Let me know in the comments below what you thought, if you would have done anything differently, and uh, if you've ever experienced so many Hayliner visits in a single game. As always, the best way to support the channel is by subscribing here on YouTube and subscribing or following on Twitch, twitch.tv slash bludgeon. I'm experimenting a little bit with how I release videos here on the channel right now. Previously, the live matches typically had two games in them. So you'd watch one game with you know, Memnon and the next game with Ariana, for example. And uh, right now I'm, I'm putting them up one game at a time. So I'm splitting up the Twitch streams um, and that's how it's going. I'd be curious to hear your feedback on that. Do you like a longer video with multiple games or do you prefer one game per video? Please let me know. Anyway, if you want to make sure you're getting all of the games, you know, as quickly as possible and you're not missing anything, the best way to do that is to watch live on Twitch, which is again, twitch.tv slash bludgeon. Otherwise, I'm quite happy to see you here on YouTube. As always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.